Hi, so today we're going to be talking about how I do star prep a personalized choice board. So first, um, I collect data all year round um, through Schoology Mastery. And so I add a teak to everything that my students do and I track their progress through there. Then our students took a reading sim star sim and I was able to track their data through that to see where their areas of weakness and strength are. So for example, one of my students, we just finished um, collecting their data through Schoology Mastery. You'll see that there's three boxes for each. That was for the three different times throughout the year that we um, marked their data so that they could see what areas that they needed to work on. So here in the third box, you can tell that this student needs to work on character interactions at this point, setting and point of view are still their um, weak points, but they're doing amazing at unknown words and inferences. They've got green across the board. They've um, improved a lot over synthesizing. They've improved a lot over summary and theme. They um, went up a little bit in details and key ideas and we could still work on that. That's something we can still have room for improvement because we're at light green instead of dark green. Um, and we're still at light green for figurative language, so that's still an area that we need to work on as well. So this kind of gives them a visual, and it gives me a visual, to see where they're doing and where they're at with their learning. So we take this, because this is over the whole year. Then I also take how they did on their reading sim and put those two data together, and we get um, this personalized choice board. So what I do is we do white for not there yet, yellow meets expectations, and green mastery. If a student has green mastery, they only have to complete one activity. So for example, if they are informational text and we get from their sim that they are doing wonderful with informational text and they're in the dark green, then they just have to pick one of the two activities. They could do the Nearpod lesson or they could do the mystery picture. They choose. Then um, yellow meets expectations. They're there, they've got it, but we can always strive for mastery. We can always strive to do better and improve ourselves. So we're gonna do two of the activities. So fictional um, text, let's say they are yellow there, they could, they have room for improvement. They're gonna do two, both of these activities. However, if they are still white, that means that they need to have a small group and I'm going to reteach them that content area. And then they also need to do the two activities for extra practice. So for context clues, if they are just not there yet, they are not very successful with it yet, they're going to meet me for a small group session and I'm going to reteach. And then they're also going to do the mystery picture and they're going to do the online worksheet so that they have plenty of um, opportunities to be successful and to level up basically. So once they have completed the activities that they're supposed to, they come see me, I grade their assignments, and we decide whether or not they've leveled up or not, and we get a sticker. Now, how did I do all this? Well, so basically for each of the content areas or the teaks, I have created three different activities. So mo everything goes into Schoology at some point so that we can track their data and see how they're doing and if they're improving and leveling up. So for um, let's do the yellow station, because that's what I have here, is context clues. The students know where to find their work because it's in yellow station. They have the um, opportunity to choose from context clues, mystery picture, or understanding the vocabulary, literacy, text, online worksheet. Then they're going to come to my station buckets, and they're going to find the yellow station. And it says it on the front and on the top so nobody's confused. They're going to open it up. And then inside there's two yellow folders that represent the two different activities. On the front of them, it says yellow station and it says what the activity is. So this folder is the context clues mystery picture. So let's say they decide to do that. They're gonna get this folder out. The first thing in the folder is their instructions. So this one says exactly what to do in order of steps of what they need to do. And then here is um, their activities, they have a laminated sheet of paper with the story and then their own coloring sheet for their mystery picture is all in this one folder. And then they put it all back because Ms. Armstrong's a neat freak and we put everything back to where we found it. Um, it tells them how to turn it in and everything. And then they put their station bucket back and that's the yellow station. Now, um, for small groups, I will pull them 
based on area of need um, and most important first. Um, so if I see that majority of my class is really struggling with context clues, I'm going to pull um, small groups during pride time, pride time or during my class for small group. And I have a whole nother activity just for small group for us to uh, work on and for me to reteach. Um, so for star prep, I also do have students that this is just going to be too much for. So I do have an alternative um, choice board for them. Um, I do want to go back to the white, yellow, and green. We are always going to start with the white first. So if a student sees that there's lots of green and yellow, that's awesome. But we're going to focus on where they have white. Um, so they colored this in based on where they're at. And if they see white, that means I need to work on that first. I need to do a small group and I need to do my two activities so that I level up. Then if we have no more white, then we're going to work on yellow. Then if we are done with all of our yellows, then we're going to work on green. We're going to work on our weaknesses first and then work our way up to our strengths um, so that everybody is making progress wherever they need to. This is personalized. This is fully their choice on what they get to do. I do this so that they kind of have a say on how they're going to do their learning. Um, do they want to do an escape room or do they want to be more creative and do a mystery picture? Do they want to do task cards or do they want to do an online worksheet that work, walks them through the assignments? Um, they also get to choose where they sit around the room. They get to choose um, how they complete their assignment. If they want to do it at a desk on a clipboard, they get to choose. This is for them to learn how to study and review. So again, for my students who are struggling readers in general and are just um, lower leveled um, fourth graders, this is a little bit um, less intense for them. So you'll see that there's colored um, indicators for each box. We've got reading passages, we've got mystery pictures, and we've got um, task cards for context clues and summary. These are the areas that they would need to work on, and they have a number that they have to complete of each of those. And so they do get to choose what they do each day, but it um, is more guided for them and not as much color coding with data and things like that. So it gives them a little bit more confidence and being successful. I do have all of my small group activities listed so that I can stay organized. Um, I do reteach along with my activities and my worksheets. Um, I do have a lesson. I reteach. I've got videos. I've got anchor charts, and I will pull all those up so that we are hands-on focused on just that content. Um, and this is how I break down my small groups. I put the teacup here. Um, I do have three classes, and so I determine based on their choice board, I see where are we in the white, um, and I write down those names for each of those um, classes. So then I can pull small groups. If they're in my class at this time, I can say, oh, these three, let's pull a small group real quick. Or I can create a group during pride time of all three classes if I need to mix it up. This helps me stay organized on who I've met with and who I haven't. Um, so that is my star prep personalized choice board. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know.